North American weather. Main story is the East Coast snowstorm for this weekend. Let's get right into it. Meteorologist Mark Bolnar here for MeteoMark. Today is February 15th, 2013. So, we have currently, across much of the United States, we have a good amount of moisture, but most of it is currently off the coast from what we can see. And you can see it right here. We've got a good deal of moisture, but our frontal boundary here is stalling across the Appalachians, and that's going to be the focal point for this system to develop across much of the central mid-Atlantic and heading on up through New England. So right now we don't have any uh, winter weather advisories, winter storm watches, anything into effect yet because the models are still trying to sort some things out here. But here at Media Mark we think there's going to be a good solution on this storm. But the cutoff of the precipitation will be a major factor, especially on the western edge of the storm. So we're going to have to want to keep an eye on that. Here across the central states, Things are really benign at this point, and out west we don't have anything to talk about out here. So, and so the only things we're going to talk about are mainly across the lakes here, where we'll have some lake effect snow. But we're not looking at a tremendous amount of lake effect snow. Let's take a look at the accumulations. you got Lake Superior up here, Lake Michigan, Lake Huron, and then you've got Lakes Erie and Ontario. And as you can see, we'll have those multi-bands. We could have anywhere from some of the higher snow totals of 6 to 12 inches, but mainly a 2 to 4, 3 to 6 inch snowfall event across these areas. So, now that we got lake effect behind us, the, the, oh, one thing too is this is the direction that the lake effect snow will be oriented, so I have those degrees listed on here as well. Other than that, let's move on to the weekend storm. The weekend storm looking very good for New England, Eastern New England, or bad, however you want to look at it, but we're looking at the model solution. Here's the GFS run, and we track it up the coast. In fact, the GFS is further towards the coast here than the Euro and the NAM. GFS is trending just off Virginia, developing it off North Carolina, and moving northeastward towards New England. Pretty much missing a lot of portions of the central mid-Atlantic, but we could have some snowfall well inland into Virginia, Maryland, and possibly as far west as Washington, D.C. We'll see. Then you get up into New England, and this, this is where this thing becomes a bomb, according to the GFS. Let's take a look at the Euro. The Euro is much further offshore and tracks the system further off the coast, but it still skims eastern New England. So eastern New England, no matter what, under what scenario, will get, especially Cape Cod, Boston, up through down east Maine, eastern Maine, and northern Maine, will all get heavy snow out of this. But... How much snow will Virginia, Norfolk, up to Richmond, heading on up to Washington, D.C., and extending up towards Philadelphia, New York City, and Long Island, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, how much will these areas get on up into Maine, New Hampshire? Well, here's what we're thinking. Low pressure, or split, kind of splitting the difference, not really going as far west as the GFS, not really going as far east as the Euro, kind of in the middle. The NAM is kind of in this range, but not really it's closest to the NAM solution and it will move the system but more towards the Euro solution uh, slightly and that means we'll still have accumulating snows inland here not as heavy as is predicted by the GFS but here's the thing definitely down here in Virginia North Carolina Eastern North Carolina Virginia heading up to Delmarva some of these areas could get upwards of three to five inches of snow it's depicted here now, New York City, that's a wild card. We're putting you in the 1 to 3, possibly 2 to 4. Long Island, that looks more promising. Then you get up to Boston, and that's where we could get it 6 to 12 inch plus, and on up to Maine, eastern Maine, definitely, looking at 12 inch plus out of this storm. So there is our snowfall amounts. That's what we're looking at. And you can see the jet stream, well depicted by this, going to steer the storm right up the coastline of the eastern United States. How much cold air is going to be with this storm? Well, not a tremendous amount. We're not looking at major cold air blasts, but cold enough to keep most of this snow. As you can see here, the Saturday highs, heading on into Sunday, we get these shots of cold air with this very, you can't even call it a clipper type system, it's more of a trough, moves down across the eastern lakes and into the northeast. And kind of re-energizes the system a little bit, but mainly keeps that cold air in place for 
some heavy snows, 30s and even 20s here in, some northern, in northern New England teens possible. And out west, things remain temperate. It's here on Monday in the southern and central plains, mid-Mississippi River Valley, southward towards New Orleans. That's where we get a return flow out of the south. And we'll start to see these temperatures, warmer temperatures expand east. Is this a sign of a warmer spring? Well, let's take a look. NAO index actually long term looks negative, which is not good for a early spring, but models have not always had a very good, especially the long range models, have not always had a very good handle on where the NAO index is going. Arctic oscillation, here we go, gyrating all over the place. That means stormy. So, stormy weather, a negative NAO index, usually is good for extreme winter storms, but the jury's still out on that. We'll take, we'll analyze that further into the weekend and into early next week as the models flip-flop back and forth. But the models have kind of come into the solution for the East Coast storm into northern New England. So we will keep an eye on this. I'm meteorologist Mark Muller. Like us on Facebook at Media Mark. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Here's a four-day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton, Telmyra, and the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania.